Greetings, YouTube. It has only been a few hours since the arena results for Aegon were posted, and yet my phone has been blowing up with basically two things that don't make sense to a lot of people, and they don't make sense to me. So I know that this is a video that kind of wants to analyze a couple things, and um, I just want to tell a story real quick to start this off. I, I know who HQ Sean is because... I've always viewed him as like the god of MCOC. I logged into the game a couple years ago, and I didn't even know what that trophy symbol was. I thought for a noob like me it was off limits. But I tapped it once and accidentally pulled up those global the global summoner leaderboard, and HQ Sean popped up. Now my favorite basketball player growing up as a Spurs fan was Sean Elliott, and so I thought headquarter Sean Elliott, what a what a badass. But I'm sure this guy is. I mean, he has been at the top of the leaderboard for as long as I've been playing this game. And sure, I'm sure it takes a lot of money. He might have spent more money on this game than a lot of third world countries' gross domestic product. But you still got to give it up to the guy because a lot of people are going for first. And he's first. And I get that when you place in the top of arenas you get special titles, and if you place X amount of times, you get even more special titles, I think. I don't know how it works because I'm never going to be first in the arena, but I think that's why people do it, right? I think regardless of whether or not you have a champion or you need a champion, it's all about the arena. But, bro, I say this as an admirer of yours for years, and with all due respect, it is a dick move to take one of the top 150 spots of an arena that you know so many people who desperately need a five-star Aegon are grinding for, who are spending countless hours and maybe units that they may or may not even have to use refills to grind for champions. You didn't have to do this one, man. You could have got that title in another arena. Keep in mind that as I talked about in my previous arena... The average score to get you the top 150 is somewhere between 35 million and a low point like with Morningstar. And even if you're talking about an arena like Terax, that's like 61, 62 million. Sorcerer Supreme, 62, 65. Storm Pyramid X, 63. So I get the goal. And I get that if you're number one, you might as well flex. But you took the spot of somebody that probably really, really needed that champion away just to just to flex a little bit, right? Just to just to remind people of your presence. And it's a free country. It's a free world. That is your right to do that. But you took the spot away from somebody who could have used it. And by the way, in case anybody says, well, he's only saying that because his battle room bestie did not place in the top 150. If HQ Sean hadn't grinded this arena, my good friend Katie Candy still wouldn't have got that. She didn't place 151. But at the same time, the larger point is, it sucks for that person, man. And I still respect the fact that you've got great skill playing this game, and you've dedicated what seems like your life to this. But to see your name pop up in the top five, when you know there are a lot of people out there who are rage quitting because they didn't get the champion that you didn't need. Not, not the coolest of moves. I think that's a pretty objective point in saying that. But I want to use you, Mr. HQ Sean, to bring up a point about our number one placed player in this arena. The only one that curiously does not have an alliance. You see everybody else on the left. By the way, Shout out to Mr. Stractos, who was place 150. I should say that before I forget. 76,100,572 was how many points he needed to score, and he did just that. But you see, the fifth place, Dr. Lee, MLP, MKS, got the four-play alliance. HQ Sean, popular New York 718 alliance. Pints, TGL, shout out, man. I know you were going for that number one title. Uh, number two, Mobzita7. Sounds like an interesting sandwich but it works. NSM1 Alliance. But Tyson, you don't have an alliance. You roll by yourself, man. You are your own person. 
pretty respectful. You're like Captain Bay. You are an allianceless man, and uh, I mean, maybe you're a woman. I don't know. Tyson sounds like a man, though. Mike reminds me of Mike Tyson. But I was looking at your profile, bro. I got a question for you. How did you do this, man? How do you do this? Maybe it wasn't this arena that you did this. But I, I'm just so confused. It doesn't make any sense to me how you run the arena. I don't get it. Because let's just think about this. I've only scored uh, about 40 million once in the arena. And this is my profile. And my top highest PvP win streak is 367. Now, you have to win two out of three fights to keep up your win streak. So, you know, it's conceivable that you don't win all three fights of each round. But if I was having an especially amazing streak and won every fight of every round, I would win over a thousand fights in the span of, what, two and a half days to get my highest PvP win streak of 367. Now, that's pretty dang good for me as somebody who grinds the arena every week because I do have a disgusting arena addiction and I have never been afraid to admit it. You know, AA doesn't just stand for Alcoholics Anonymous, it stands for Arena Anonymous, only I am not anonymous in this case. I get I have a problem and it is also a hoarding problem. I should be on hoarders as well. But let's look at HQ Sean. So my highest PvP win streak got me to between 35 and 40 million a couple months ago. 367. HQ Sean, the man who, by the way, another reason why uh, it just it's just one of those flex moves that I don't get. The man has all rank three six stars, Thing, Domino, Ghost, All Awaken. Um, but he has a rank three six star duped Aegon too, right? He's got the six star version. He didn't need the five star. He said the five star, I'm sure, right when it came out. So... I guess, you know, everybody's looking toward the leaderboard, so it was kind of cool if you saw your name up there. I, I, I guess I get, like, the ego desire of the goal. It just sucks for the person that came in place 151 because you got a champion that you didn't need, you know? I'm just, maybe I'm being too moralistic by saying that. Maybe I just don't get the uh, high stakes of MCOC at the very top. But that's how I view it. But, you know, back to the point of this screenshot. This is a highest PvP win streak of 1,001. It's also a palindrome, by the way. The nerd in me is coming out. It's the same backwards as it is forwards. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm guessing you probably grind for about between 100 and 120 million points. And that is about three times as much as uh, I've grinded before. So, that makes sense. It's a crazy amount of fights. You know, if you multiply it times three, that's over 3,000 fights in all the rounds to get it. But I think that's conceivable. I think that's about the limit of what a human being could do, though. 3,000 arena fights in the span of two and a half days? Maybe you could get to a 1,000, 100 highest PvP win streak? Maybe. If you didn't, if you didn't get any sleep? Um, but that's about it. Maybe 1,100. Let's compare this highest PvP win streak to the total, doesn't make any sense to me, mystery of the day, Mr. Non-Alliance himself, Tyson Grandito, who put up more than twice the highest PvP win streak of our man HQ Sean, 2028. If you think about that in terms of fights, that's 6,084 arena fights. In either the time span between Monday morning and Thursday morning or Thursday morning and Sunday morning. And even if this guy or gal got no sleep whatsoever, I just don't see how it's humanly possible to have that PvP win streak. And I'm sure this guy has a great account. I can see mainly all rank 565 five stars. He is a legend, clearly. But 571,344 PvP fights won. That's a crazy amount. 571,000, compare that to HQ Sean, and uh, still almost 200,000 more. 95,017 quest fights won. That's where HQ says, yeah, I'm a quester dog. 
I don't do this arena life that much, except for maybe a title and a flex. But I just, for my own sanity, I just want to know, how does somebody do that? How does somebody fight 6,084 times in the span of not even three full days? I don't know. Maybe it's because you're not in Alliance. You can do a lot of fights when you don't eat, you don't sleep, you don't do Alliance War, you don't do Alliance Quest. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm just learning that lesson. But that doesn't make sense to me. And it doesn't make sense to me why HQ Sean, other than just the massive flex of wanting his name to be up there, chose the Aegon Arena, which would take a lot higher of a score than normal to get a title or be on top for it. And it sucks. Because I know people, there are only a couple people, there's two people who have messaged me specifically. And, and no, it's not my battle room best at Katie Kate, uh, who have said, Prof, Aegon's the reason why I still play this game to get him. And I finished. 15 spots away, and I kind of just want to quit the game, and it sucks. HQ Sean, I wish you could get your title and somehow still gift the champion to that summoner that just more than anything wants that five-star Aegon. You know, I wish there was, a, there was a world where you could do both, where you could control where that goes. I'm sure the ethics of that would be kind of questionable, but regardless... Him going for this arena to make a point doesn't make sense to me. And then Tyson Grandito having a PvP win streak of 2,028? That doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe I just need to learn how the 1% of 1% live. But those are the biggest takeaways, and people are asking me those questions. I don't have the answers to those. Only HQ Sean knows why he chose this arena to try to be at the top and be one of the top 150. Only Tyson Grandito knows how much sleep a human being can get while racking up 2,028 PvP win streak. But those mysteries, I don't have the answers, but uh, I have the questions. <laughs> and I guess that was, uh, that was the point of this video. Ask some questions. Maybe. Who knows? We'll get some answers. What are your thoughts on this? Thanks for watching.